What's up everybody, Tactical 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Better Enchanting mod, and what this mod does is it'll allow you to create your own enchantments, so you'll be able to pick exactly what you want for your weapon. You will no longer be randomly guessing what the enchantment will be, and you won't waste any more XP points. So let me go ahead and come into my castle here, and I have an enchantment room. Okay, so here we have the enchanting table, and like usual, you always right click it, take your diamond sword, and place it in there, and you can go down and up, and this will show you all of the enchantments for the diamond sword, which is sharpness, smite, ban of anthropods, uh, knockback, fire aspect, and looting. So I like to have some sharpness in mine. So let's see if we can turn that all the way up. Um, as well as the fire aspect and we'll do some knockback now you can see I'm not able to enchant that so you can you have to keep in mind that you can't do everything um, you can't have some crazy sword which is unfortunate but that's just how it is so I can have sharpness 3 knockback 1 and fire aspect 1 if I move this up 1 will it do anything what about this yeah, so I'm going to have to stick with aspect, Fire Aspect 1, Knockback 1, and Sharpness 3. So once you get yours all set up and what you want, then you just go ahead and click on Enchant, and it will enchant the item. Now this works for everything, so you can as well um, do the um, bow. So here's the flame. We'll put that at Flame 1. Power we'll put that all the way up to four punch we'll put it one and infinity we can't put on because we already have flame on so then we hit enchant again and there you go it's enchanted so that is the better enchantments mod it's pretty cool so like I said you will no longer be guessing on what your enchant will be and you won't be wasting any more XP so I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then the only thing you're going to need to download is the Better Enchanting mod itself. So to download the Better Enchanting mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to this page in the description. Now this is the unofficial version because the original creator of the mod did not update this, but someone else got permission and updated it themselves. So if you go ahead and scroll down to Downloads and click on Show, and click on Download 1.1, this will bring us over to Mediafire, and you just go ahead and click on Download to download the mod. Now this page does also have a little bit of information like pictures and uh, what the mod does, uh, but it's not the full description of it because it's the unofficial version. So that is how to download the mod. So to install it, you can go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, then go into your dot minecraft, then your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you are using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin we will not need anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have a Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up the Better Enchanting mod. And you do not want to put the README text in your Minecraft jar, so what we want to do is click on the first GC class, hold shift, and click on the class right before the README text, so that will highlight these three classes. And drag those in your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Now take the RO class and put that in your Minecraft jar as well and go ahead and close the better enchanting mod now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf if you do not see this folder it's okay you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do see it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete metainf you want to make sure you're always deleting metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft if you don't it'll make Minecraft crash so after you delete metainf you can go ahead and close the Minecraft jar and that's it you're done installing the mod so hope this video helps you guys out thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time